By the end of this video, you are going to be able to turn chord symbols into notes fast within MuseScore Studio 4.5. Let's get started. So let's quickly add some chord symbols to the score, and then I'm going to show you with a couple clicks how we can convert those chord symbols into physical notes. So in order to add a chord symbol again, you want to left click on the measure or note that you want to add the chord symbol, Control K or Command K on an apple, and then I'm going to go, let's say C major, and then I'm going to press space, that will go to the next beat, I'm going to go to the next measure, we'll go C chord, then let's do an F major chord, and then let's add maybe an F7 chord, one, two, three, four, and then maybe a G7, that's kind of a goofy progression, but then let's go back to C. Okay, so we quickly added all those chord symbols. I'm going to go ahead and left click. So now I have all those chord symbols there. Now let's say I would like to make this chord symbol uh, notes on the score. What I do is I left click on the symbol. It'll turn blue. Once it turns blue, you're going to want to right click. And then you want to click on Realize Chord Symbols. And then when, once you click on that, it's going to ask you what settings you want here. So it says chord symbols be realized. It's going to be a C major chord. Um, I'm going to do some custom options here. You can change the voice, the interpretation to literal or jazz. And then auto, uh, I want to show you what auto is first, and then we can go through a couple of these options. And then duration until next chord and symbol. That's good for this piece. Um, sometimes you might want to do till measure end or uh, toward the chord rest duration. So let's go till the next chord symbol. And then I'm going to press OK. And there we go. <laughs> it, it added all the notes for that chord symbol. Now it added the chord, so C, E, and G, but then it also doubled um, uh, there. And you can see it kind of spelled the, the chord kind of interesting interesting on the score. So I'll show you how to quickly change that. So if you want that note right here to be on the bottom, what you do is you select it, it'll turn blue, and then you want to make sure you turn it to voice two. So I'm going to left click there on voice two. Now that I've converted that to voice two, I'm going to press Control, Shift, and Down, and that's going to change that to the bass clef. Uh, control, Shift, Up will change it to treble clef. Control, Shift, Down will change it to bass clef. So you can see now I've got the notes the way I would like it. But one thing that is really amazing about this is you can actually do this for an entire piece. So let's say you're working with a lead sheet, and you want to actually see the notes on the piano. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this for a second, and then let's go ahead and delete voice one, voice one. Okay, so we've got that all deleted. Um, let's bring the chord symbol back. So we want to add the C major. So now I want to show you this amazing thing where you can actually select all these chords at once. So I have that left click and then I'm going to press control and hold down control while you click these other chords. So now they're all selected. So I have each of those chords selected and I'm going to right click on any of them and realize chord symbols. And now what's going to happen is it's going to realize the chord symbols for all of those. So you see F, F7, G7, C. And then again, whatever custom options I want, I'm going to keep the auto so you can see what happens. And I'm going to press OK. And so now you can see it added the chord symbols for the entire piece. You can see that last chord, it added the entire thing. That's because there's no chord symbol after it. So that last one probably just wanted to do uh, for the measure only instead of the whole white, but that's OK. Um, so now let's go ahead and convert these bottom notes to the bass clef. So again, you just select the note, voice two, control shift down. And then you can just repeat that, voice two, control shift down. The reason that we do the, the voicing here is because if I click on this note and then I just press control shift down, it'll take all of the notes with it. And that's because these are all one voice uh, whenever you add the chords. So we need to change the voicing so that you can get to this, this formatting. So now you can see I was able to add those in the voicing that they have uh, there. If you want to uh, erase these rests, all you would need to do is just click on that. And then in Properties tab, go to Visible, and then just click that button there so that it'll make it invisible. So it still kind of shows up a little bit. It'll be grayed out on the score. But whenever you uh, print this out, it will uh, not show that uh, rest. So this is a pretty amazing function within MuseScore Studio. And again, you can play around with the different voicings within the studio. So this is a really quick way to convert those chord symbols into notes on the score. So you now know how to auto write the notes of a chord from a chord symbol using Muse Score Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Muse Score Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video.